Hello, YouTubers! This is Tia from Musings of a Mystic. I'm back with another pick a deck, pick a card type reading. Today's question is What was their first impression of you? What was their first impression of you? Now, before I go into the reading, I'm going to say I really appreciate everybody who um, has, has liked, shared, subscribed, tipped, and donated, and all those who have bought. Uh, personal readings for me. I really do appreciate that. I thank you for trusting me with your situation. Um, if you are going to comment on a video, please don't put anybody's personal information in the vid in the comment because that stuff is not going to make it onto my channel because I don't want to be involved with anyone's breach of privacy. So please just don't put anybody's full name, contact information, where they live. Please don't put that stuff in comments on any YouTube video, honestly, but especially not on mine, okay? So, with all that being said, let me say this. This is a general reading on YouTube. It will not resonate with everyone, and that's okay. No big deal. It just means that the reading is for somebody else today. And if you need a personal reading that only resonates with you, you can contact me through email, and we can get right on that for you. It'll take about two to three days for you to get your reading right about now. And uh, if you can't tell, it is October. Autumn. It's autumn. It's fall. So I have my fall decorations out. Um, so yeah, I think that's enough talking. Why don't we go ahead and get into the reading. This, let me see, this is one, deck number one, number two, and number three. If you need more time to pick your deck, number one, number two, and number three, um, just pause the video and I'll be here when we get back. But otherwise, we're going to go ahead and get into deck number one. And we're going to move two and three off to the side. Deck number one, you guys are the better business oil. Question is, what, what was your person's first impression of you? I'm hearing youthful. Um, for some of you, I'm hearing childish. What was your person's first impression of you? This is Sigurd's person's first impression of them. Please remember that these are not personal readings and will not resonate with everyone, and that's okay. No big deal. It just means that the reading is for somebody else today. And if you need a personal reading, my email is down there in the description somewhere. So what was your person's first impression of you? For some of you, you go, it, it, this is kind of youthfulness. Maybe the way that you spoke to them made them think that you were younger than you were, or that you weren't mature at the time. But at, as they went on um, and got to know you, for some of you, like one or two or three of you, um, they saw you mature. Now, looking at this, as the cards fell, you got the Page of Air as the Shadow card, the Knight of Earth, the King of Earth, and the Release card, and then the uh, Nine of Fire popped out. Two. So what it looks like is this person saw you as very guarded, guarded, very guarded, and hardworking, sturdy, stable, and honest. And you may have told them something that initially made them uh, defensive with not a fire, which reads, don't give up, protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. And then there's the release card that reads Archangel Azrael. The end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation, time to move on. So they might have told you something that initially made you defensive, but caused you to change. And then you kind of started seeing them as a more wise person. Or the other way around where I think I'm getting my people confused here. Just take what resonates with you. If you're the one who is, you know, sturdy and stable, um, then they might have 
have seen you as the opposite of what you are. So they might have seen you initially as childish, but then eventually they saw that you actually were, you know, a stable, sturdy kind of person, or flip it around if that makes more sense to you. But anyway, how what was their first impression of you? Moving out of the one or two or three people to the general whole of you, they saw you as honest. You spoke. Maybe you weren't as, uh, you didn't use a lot of soft words. Like you said what you said, you meant what you said, and that was it. So you told the truth, and you said it, you know, without any real softness of words. Not saying that you didn't have tact, just saying that maybe you just said it like, you know, instead of saying, oh, maybe you shouldn't wear those pants. Maybe you're like, those pants make you look fat, honey. Take them off, because that's not cute. You know, maybe you were like that instead of being like, oh, you know, yeah, those pants definitely do mm -hmm. look on you. Mm -hmm. Yep. So anyway, the page of air reads logical, honest, impulsive, curious, challenging information, delays or plan or changes to plans. Uh, truth delivered without tact. I just said that, didn't I? So they saw you as a very honest person. They may have also seen you as a uh, a life-changing person. This is the death card, and it um, it it speaks of the old phase or situation going out, and the new one coming in, and like a spiritual transformation. So. And they might have seen you as being very determined to deter determined and life changing and honest. With the King of Earth here, I'm seeing just stability. I'm getting the mostly stability. The card reads the King of Earth, the generous, professional, responsible, practical, a successful time, confidently except opportunities are offered the Midas touch. So, and it could be, um, you could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, or just be somebody who is, you know, a business owner, or just somebody who is very stable and solid. Knight of Earth, loyal, dedicated, honorable, time to buckle down and get things done, honor your commitments, a guardian angel. So here are the things that jump out to me the most here for you guys and their first impression of you. Logical, honest, impulsive, curious. Maybe I'm not impulsive, but mostly logical and honest is popping out the most there. Generous, professional, responsible, and practical. The words that pop out there the most are responsible and practical and solid. Loyal, dedicated, honorable, and kind. I feel like they, they really just see you as, you know, a backbone. Like, they see you as the kind of person who has a backbone who can give them a backbone. So their first impression was that you were somebody who could change their uh, their way of being. Someone who could also kind of give them stability and um, who would be loyal and practical, you know, like a good friend who could tell you what you need to hear instead of what you want to hear. And that is basically what I've got for you guys. Hope that made some sense to you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, tip, and donate, and comment. All those things help me stay motivated to make you guys more videos in the future. And if you need more uh, information, or if you feel like a personal reading, my information is down there. If you want to know what kind of cards I was using. But just any way that you could contact me or just any information that you might need is down there, most likely. Um, if you don't, if it's not down there, just comment or email me and I can answer your question, most likely. So, on to pile number two. Not sure where that accent came from. You guys are a car. You're the, the healer oil. Question is, what was your person's first impression of you? Please remember that these are not personal readings and they're not resonate with everyone. Okay, no big deal. It just means that the reading is for somebody else today. And if you need a personal reading that only resonates with you, you can contact me 
through email and I can get rid of them out for you guys. So we'll take about three days to get you ready about now. So the question is, what was their first impression? If you hear hammering in the background, there's a house being built across the way. First impression of you. Okay, I'm getting a lot of messages for you guys. Some of them, they saw you as, like, lax, very kind of relaxed and, you know, just kind of go with the flow. Some of you, they saw you as very solitary and uh, alone. Um, and for some of you, they saw you as conflict. Conflict and, like, you know, somebody who would, who who was vicious. So it's weird because I'm getting three different things and these cards here are just telling different stories for me. Because this is like the the go with the flow, relax, laissez-faire kind of, you know, um, just out in the world. Just just kind of go with the flow and being cool. That's like a, a separate story on its own. And then there we've got the Hermit card. Where it indicates, this is the Hermit card where somebody is here alone, right? Like, maybe they thought that you were a bookworm or somebody who was just in your books, always reading, always just on your own. Somebody who's always just alone and seeking. Um, and these two cards together can, to me, indicate somebody who is seeking knowledge, who is kind of trying to figure out, you know, kind of what they want to do with their lives. Very easygoing, yet still kind of on their own um like just chilling just chilling alone seeking knowledge like a, a monk or something um but then this third story on its own is the father of swords i believe this is the father of swords let me just look real quick This is the Seven of Wands. Yeah. So that's Swords. That's Five of Swords. And this is a vicious card. Some of them thought you were just stuck up. Thought you were stuck up and just, you know. And you might be like an introvert or somebody who just has social anxiety. Who doesn't like talk a lot. And it's not like you're trying to be vicious necessarily. It's just like, you know, you're, you're anxious and nervous and you're having issues opening up, right? But for them, they might have just seen you as, you know, so stuck up. You don't want to talk to anybody. You're just going to be on your own. Um, you don't really care about what's going on around you. You just want to be on your own because you feel like you're above them. And that's like their first impression of you. Uh, even though I don't feel like it's necessarily true. For some of you, maybe it is. But for the majority of you, I feel like... Y'all are just introverts. You just like to, you like, you enjoy your own company. You don't like small talk. And it's kind of like, you know, it, it's taxing and it takes a lot of energy to deal with people. So you're kind of like, you know, you're not mean. You're just nervous or anxious, you know, just kind of like that. And they, they took it the way often to left feel like oh you, you're just stuck up and you don't want to be around us and this that and the fourth or whatever so that's kind of what i'm seeing for some of you there and then you've got the recognition and reward card you were probably the person in school who was very studious and very good at doing schoolwork but maybe not so good at, at communicating with other people in a social setting so they the people around you were just kind of like you know that person over there, she's a B word. Let's go pick on her because she won't talk to us. That's their, they created that, oh, that story, that story in their head, uh, just without any real, uh, what's the word? Without any real proof. 
So they just kind of made that story up. Like, oh, the reason why she doesn't want to communicate with us or talk to us or come over here and be our friend is because she stuck up. Which is not the case, I feel, for you guys. But anyway. So that's like four different stories. The first one is like they feel like you were very, you know, go with the flow, kind of really cool. Um, solitary, alone, like a deep thinker. Conflict, like you just bring trouble, you know, around you. Or trouble is always around you, or you're just like into drama. And then all together for that four stories, they 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 saw what they wanted to see. They saw you alone, and thought you were you know stuck up and didn't want to talk to them because you were you know stuck up and mean and rude. When that is not necessarily the case. So I hope that made some sense to you. Take what resonates with you. I think you would know if. You kind of give up the give off the vibe of being, you know, kind of a cool uh, seeker of knowledge, or if you come off as being a deep thinker and an old soul, or if you come off as being conflict and drama. I think that you would you would be able to pick up on that story for yourself. So I hope that made some sense to you guys. Um, if it didn't, I'm sorry. Um, if it did, I mean, really, just comment below if it did or if it didn't. It's okay. If you need more information or if you'd like a personal reading, my information is below. If you want to know what kind of cards I'm using, how to contact me or whatever, all of that information is down there. And if you want to, you can also pop over to my shop on eBay and check out what kind of oils I've got there. But anyway, we're going to deck number three. Deck number three. You guys are the rich witch. Question is, um, what is the question? What was your, what was their first impression of you? What was their first impression of you? I'm not going to take that. My cards are huge, so I would like to pull from the top the answer for this question. What did your person, what was their first impression of you? Now, please remember, these are not personal readings. They will not resonate with everyone, and that's okay. No big deal. It just means that the reading is for somebody else today. If you need a personal reading that only resonates with you, you can contact me through email. I can get right on that for you. You probably get your reading about two to three days right now. That might change in the future. So what was your person's first impression of you? Queen of Air, Five of Earth, Messenger of Water. I kind of feel like they thought you were a frosty bitch. Now don't take that, you know, as me cussing at you, even though I am cussing in this video. It's like they thought you were very cold and cool and kind of frosty. Like the first words that I heard were frosty bitch. Now you don't necessarily have to be one. The, that's the first thing they saw here. And it like goes even further with the Five of Pentacles. Like, I'm getting this story where they might have had a crush on you. And they created this whole like story in their head where they're like, I like this person, but she's so cold and like frosty. I don't believe that she would, you know, she would shut me. She would leave me out in the cold. She wouldn't, you know, bring me in and put me really close to her heart. And let me warm up next to the fire of her heart. I don't, they, they, they like, I feel like they, they had a crush on you or they still do. And they're like, you know, this person is just cold and cool. And I don't believe that they would warm up to me. So they, they might have, cause you might, maybe you're the kind of person who's very discerning. You're like, I can't just be with anybody. I gotta be with, you know, the person that, um, does this and does that. You like have standards. And maybe they felt like they didn't reach your standards, so they they automatically thought that you would reject them. So the first impression of you was that you're cold, you know, cold and um, just maybe high maintenance. Uh, and the reason why I felt like maybe they had a crush on you was because here is the uh, Knight of of Cups. On in this deck is called the Knight of Water. 
Now, this is a person. And there are two people here. And there's, there's the King of... The Queen of Swords, sorry. The Queen of Swords, Five of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. And then in between them is this Five of Earth, which is left out in the cold. Being left out in the cold, not, uh... Like, loss. Losing something. Not being able to get what you want. So, and it's between these two people. So I feel like they they had loving feelings towards you. And they automatically assumed that you would reject them. And maybe you did. Maybe you said, hey, I'm not really interested in you. Here is a uh, the page of swords, which indicates indicates sharp words. Saying things harshly. Um... Being honest, but brutally honest. Not trying to prettify the honest truth. Just saying, look, I don't like you like that. And some people can't take rejection, even if it's, you know, hey, you know, I'm not really interested, but thank you. I really appreciate that, and I hope that you have a good life. If you said that, they would still take that as harsh words because people can't take rejection these days. They can't just say, oh, you know, uh, all right. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I hope that you have a good life as well. You get these people these days who are like, once you reject them, let me tell you guys a story. I was walking down, uh, this, it's like a stone path at my old school. I was going back to the bus. So I was walking down the sidewalk to the bus and this guy kept calling me and cat calling. And I didn't respond because he wasn't being respectful. So I kept walking by and he's like, well, your ass was flat anyway. I'm like, okay. So what makes you think that I will respond to you now after I didn't respond to you before? Now I'm definitely not going to want to talk to you because you're rude and disrespectful. So people can't take the slip. Like I tell that story to say this. People cannot take rejection. The little slightest hint of rejection. And they're like, oh my god, this lady's a bitch. She's frosty and cold. She spoke to me so sharply. I don't want to be with her anyway. They they start to they start to justify in their own minds, you know, why you didn't accept them. So all of a sudden, you're a frosty bitch. You're cold. You're cruel. Um, they wouldn't have liked you anyway. And these things are these are thoughts that they be having just to justify and make themselves feel better instead of just accepting that maybe you just don't like them like that and that you don't think that you would do well with them in a relationship or maybe you know you're not a frosty bitch you're just somebody who is knows yourself and you're like i right now i'm not um able to give you what you need to have a healthy relationship, therefore I'm not going to be in a relationship, but they take they took it as rejection against them. You know, oh, why won't you accept my love? I love you, why won't you accept my love? But you're like, I just can't right now, for whatever reason. You're like, I just can't right now, I don't even think that you were mean to them, I just think that this person can't take rejection. And that upsets me a little bit, because people these days just think, one-sided where they're like oh i love this person therefore they should love me too where that's just not how it works we live in this fairy tale uh a lot of people live in this fairy tale mindset where they're like you know i'm thinking it therefore it should be true or i want it therefore it should be mine and that's how you get all these people who go out you reject them they come up to your house and they like shoot your house up that's how you get that stuff these days people are just crazy but anyway not trying to be not trying to go off on a tangent not trying to be um scary or anything just saying that i know i went off like all into left field here but getting back to the topic at hand what was their first impression of you? Maybe they walked up to you, and you would know. Just take what resonates with you. Maybe they walked up to you and said, Hey, I like the way that you look. I really appreciate you. You know, you're beautiful. Let's go out. And you were like, No, thank you. And then they were like, Oh my god, she's a cold, frosty bitch. She rejected me, and there's nothing wrong with me. There must be something wrong with her. So she's a cold, frosty bitch, and she's mean, and this, that, and the fourth, or whatever. So... There's that. Now, if it's not like a love interest, 
they still kind of feel like you're cold and maybe you have a sharp tongue. Um, and you, you, like, they feel like you just reject everything that they say or do. Um, basically they just thought you were hard and cold and, you know, not the nicest person in the world because the Queen of Swords is, she's logical. She's not really, she's not the most heart-based person. She's more of a uh, head-based person. So if she's got no logic to justify something, then she's not going to be like, you know, oh yeah, let's do that. She needs hard facts. She needs cold hard facts or she's not going to do whatever it is that she doesn't have the facts about. This lady needs facts and they feel like you're this person where you're just logical. They feel like you're kind of cold and hard to get to know and be around. And they feel like you rejected them and they also feel like you've got kind of a sharp tongue and you speak you could be a good communicator and even if you are a good communicator some people are still gonna twist your words so it's just like they feel like you are very harsh hard and cold and kind of hard to be around um and get to know and you kind of reject everything they do at least that was their first impression of you I don't know what their current impression of you, but this is like their first impression. So anyway, hope that made some sense to you guys. Um, I don't personally think you're a cold hard bitch. I just kind of, that's what I saw in these cards. I'm not saying that you are that person. I'm just saying what I saw in my reading for the person that you're asking about. So please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, tip, donate, um, comment. Uh, if you need a personal reading, my information is down there in the description box below. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next video.